I'm Justin Flom, and I'm not a demon. I change water into coke, I pull candy out of my face, I spit fire, so people tend to think I'm a demon. Let me show you. You are a demon, you. Another demon-possessed puppet. around with voodoo. This is demonic. Works with the devil. You're a vile pig who mocks Jesus Christ. Demonic forces demon magic, Justin. You're not fooling anyone. Justin doesn't actually do this magic. He has a spirit do it for him. Satan? If you ever perform blasphemies in front of me, I'll spit in your face, demon. So people want to know, am I a demon? No. So then how do I do my magic tricks? Good question. Well, it starts here. Trust me, creating magic is really more arts and crafts than it is conjuring dark forces. So I'm not a demon, I'm a magician. That clears everything up, right? Not really. You see, I told you I'm a Christian and the Bible says no magic. Okay, so even if you're not a believer yourself, you can imagine how hard that is for me personally. So I did a little bit of research. Here's what I found. The word in the Bible that's most associated with evil magic is pharmakos. The other word that's often used is magos. In biblical times, a magician wasn't somebody who did magic tricks like we think of today. The magic that the Bible is condemning is the use of trickery and deception to make people think that you're God or that you have supernatural ability. Today, the word magician really is only used to describe entertainers, people like me. In biblical times, there were no magician entertainers. The first magic as entertainment book didn't come out till the 1600s, and that's what I do. Other people may have said my magic is supernatural, but I've never said it. I'm certainly not a demon. Or am I? The Demon Magician series never claims that any magician is a demon. It does, however, show clear evidence that the world's top magicians get help from invisible demonic entities who manipulate objects for the magician. One award-winning magician even indirectly admitted to it. Working with a spirit energy comes with challenges because there's no control. So if Desmond doesn't show up, there's literally no act. Justin Flam wants us to believe that all of his tricks are accomplished with the help of his crew. Sorry, I don't believe everything I'm told. Do you see any of his crew here? Everybody come close on this one. Come close. You said the ten of clubs. Yeah. Here. You want a little sailboat? Go! <laughs> I love it! Go! What about here? Make that go inside. <laughs> or here. Also, if you are going to be honest, don't say that you are turning water to coke, because that would be the definition of magic. Instead say that you are through clever deception, sleight of hand, actors, and camera tricks, making it appear like you are making the impossible happen. Similar to a Hollywood movie with special effects. Also, saying that you are a Christian does not cut it. The Bible even says that the agents of Satan would pretend to be servants of righteousness. In other words, pretending to be good guys. The Bible also says that Satan is the father of lies, so of course his puppets would therefore have no issues pretending to be Christians. Demons were the ones who came up with the plan to make magic into an art form at the very beginning of televised magic performances. He was considered the greatest magician in the world when he died in 1955. Take a look at Dante's poster ad in which a demon is holding playing cards. It also shows a demon whispering in his ear. This is a clip of one of Dante's performances. Notice that he appears in front of a large image of the devil. There she rests. She could remain there for hours should I so desire. But watch. Margo, hear me. Are you ready? Rain. Go!
you can see that there is at least one demon in all of these Dante poster ads. There were many other famous magicians of the last century, such as the famous American magician Howard Thurston. He died in 1936 and he was considered one of the most famous magicians of his time. According to reports, Thurston would have people pick cards out of a deck. He would then put the cards back into the deck and shuffle them. He would then correctly select the cards that had been chosen by making them rise out of the pack one by one. Notice the demon whispering into his ear on his 1914 promotional poster. This is a modern magic book called Tricks of the Mind. It's a book written by Darren Brown, a famous current European magician and hypnotist. Brown, an open homosexual, is pictured on the cover. Notice the incredible similarity to what we just saw over and over again in the poster ads of famous magicians from the last century. Demons on the cover next to the ear giving information. What's up? I just don't feel like. You don't feel right? No. Do you want to stop? Yeah. Okay. I'm feeling deep down. Sort of in my stomach area, right up to my throat. It just felt as if he had like some type of control over me. It was just something there that was really, really menacing. I, I, I couldn't say exactly what it was. It was, there was something unknown. Here is an ad for one of Brown's performances. Notice the demons right near him again whispering information into his ear. The demons give the magicians the information. I'm going to try and make you say the name out loud. You must not say it. You say nothing at all. Don't even say a word until I tell you what I think it is. And then you can say yes or no or freak out or whatever. But until that point, you say nothing, all right? And whatever you do, do not say the name. Just keep saying it to yourself over and over again. Nothing, don't move them. Uh, Barnes, B-A-R-N-E-S, yes? Yes. Yeah. Yes, thank you very much indeed, Debbie. Did you just move the curtain? No. Did you all see that? I saw that. Well, you can't because you can't move your no, hands and you can't kick that hard. I can't reach all right. it at all. Okay. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. You've broken it, you've broken it. What happened? What happened? I don't know. I just needed to get out. I don't feel right. That's really weird. So people want to know, am I a demon? Maybe.